favourite here. The bet fair telebet is underway, and away they go, running up towards the first bet. And two, Drink Cup Zorro's going to lead up on the inside here. Leads them round from four racing in second. Glendon Princess. Six is held up. Kelsborough reject by five. Uh, after the foil major, after these at the back, Mains Rock and Roller and Park more elite. But as they come down, also second last bend, it's Drink Cup Zorro with a lead of two and a half legs. The others get in each other's way. Four moves up into second. Glendon Princess, they come up towards the winning line. Drink Up Zorro for Paul Salas will win by a length here. Back in second for Glendon Princess. Will need the judge for third. Has gone to a close run thing for third place. Drink Up Zorro winning for Paul Salas, a greyhound who hasn't had a race for absolutely ages. Great to have him back on the scene. He's obviously had his problems, Drink Up Zorro. Let's watch the action again as they leave the traps. You can see he popped out, showed early pace for Glendon Princess. Uh, was with him for a few metres, but he scorched around the first two bends. Did drink up Zorro. You can see there's bumping up the back there. Maze Rock and Roller gets involved with Parkmore Elite at the back. Uh, Kelsborough Reject was crowded at the first bend. I think it's going to find a bit more bother here at the third turn as they go round it. But drink up Zorro's got uh, a good record through its open race career. Second to Barnfield Joe in the Gold Cup over at Oxford. He, uh, of course, went on to beat Lavi Vieri in the Winter Derby, also in the same year there of 2008. And in uh, 2009, of course, he beat Brickfield Class in the Pall Mall. Fifth in the Coral Sprint behind Glenrow Ginger, but not raced since July. This is some training feat, I tell you, from Paul Salis. Well done to Connections. It absolutely is, Errol. I, I was talking to Paul, kicking myself now for, for not thinking more about this. And uh, Esther Driver, his partner, have done a fantastic job. They were straight on this Gracilis muscle injury. It happened in the semi-final of the William Hill Classic at Sunderland straight away. And they've been treating it gently and beautifully. And he's come back. Would he win tonight? It was a chance, they thought. But, boy, did he run well. Now, last race. Great training feat by Paul Salas and Esther Driver to get Drink Up Zorro recovering straight away from a gracilis muscle. He's in the blue jacket. This is the first bend. And he's got a clear lead. He's away, gone. Can he hang on? Is he fit enough? Well, here comes the finish, and he was tiring, tiring. He wins by a length in the end and deserved to. Here's Errol. Oh, he was always a tough dog to get past anyway when he was out in front, wasn't he, Drink Up Zorro? So the result of the 8.50 here at Hall Green, the Betfair uh, Tell Bet standard, a win for Trap 2, Drink Up Zorro at 9-2. to two. Second Trap 4, Glendon Princess at 8-1. to one. And third was Trap 6, Kelsborough Reject. Forecast 49.16, TriCast 132 pounds and 12 pence. A winning time of 29.28, winning distance one length. And Daryl Williams is caught up with winning trainer Paul Salas. Well, Paul, that is absolutely fantastic. I know he's such a popular dog, Drink Up Zorro, and to bounce back like that, I mean, you, you must be absolutely overjoyed. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You know, it's been a long old road to get him back. You know, he's been very patient, um, put a lot of work into him. The vet done a great job, um, sewing the muscle straight up. Uh, yeah, so it was a nice story, you know. Yes, yeah, so a lot of long injuries. It was back back in the summer at Sunderland, of course. Yeah, he done it in the semi final, which is uh, you know obviously frustrating, but you know it's just glad to have him back, and uh, it was nice to see him win tonight. Definitely, it's nice to get the one under his belt. Have you got any plans for him? And he, he wins big competitions. We know he does. Yeah, he does. Well, it's just a case of obviously you know getting him back to four bends. We. He, he, he did have a prep trial here, but obviously we had to cancel it. The ground was too hard, so we'd give him a little sprint. Um, and then this was his, like, basically second four bend run since the injury. So, you know, I would have been happy we'd just come off sound tonight. But, you know, Zorro being the dog he is, he, you know, he's won the race. And, you know, he'll kick on now. Hopefully defend his pal Mel. We'll have another go at that. So. Excellent news. Now, of course.